Einstein's general theory of relativity involves wild, kind of crazy sounding ideas, warps and curves in space and time. And to a scientist in the early part of the 20th century, these ideas were just so foreign that to believe them, to have confidence that they might be correct, the theory needed to make a prediction that could be confirmed through experiment or observation. And Einstein realized that there was a prediction that came right out of the mathematics of general relativity, one that could be confirmed by observations. And the prediction goes like this. So Einstein says, look, imagine that we're observing a distant star when the Earth is on this side of the sun. The star's light will just go on a nice straight line trajectory. But then Einstein says, imagine that we're looking at that same star six months later when the Earth is on the far side of the sun. He says, look, if my ideas of warps and curves in space are correct, then that star-like trajectory will go on a curved path as it goes through the curved space-time region near the sun. And that will mean that observers on Earth will think, it will seem to them, that the position of the star in the sky has shifted from this location to this location. Einstein was able to calculate the angular shift between these two locations, got a number, 1.7 arc seconds, that in principle could be tested by astronomical observations. Now the challenge that you see right here is, we on Earth need to be able to see that star during the day while the sun is out. And the only way that you can do that is during a solar eclipse when the moon comes between the sun and the earth and blocks out the sun's light, allowing the distant stars to then be visible. Indeed, there was a solar eclipse in 1919. And during that solar eclipse, a couple of teams of English astronomers took photographic plates of the distant stars and indeed found that the positions of the stars shifted by the angle that Einstein predicted using general relativity and that really was the moment when the scientific community and then the world took notice and realized that Einstein had come up with a new, more accurate description of gravity, a new and more accurate description of how the universe works.